everybody. Welcome to socialization today on Friday, February 5th. We thought we would focus this week on heart health and emotions. So we hope we have a fun lineup for you. And we are going to start with a book called Monster Colors. Let's check it out. And one moment, here we go. Time with Elena. Story time with Elena. Hello everyone. Today's story is The Color Monster, a story about emotions by Anna Yenis. This is the color monster. Today he woke up feeling confused and he doesn't know why. Are you all mixed up again, color monster? Your emotions don't work well when they're all jumbled up. You should try to separate them and put each one in its own jar. If you'd like, I can help you. Let's try to make sense of how you feel. This is happiness. It shines yellow like the sun and twinkles like the stars. When you're happy, you laugh and jump and dance and play. You want to share your happiness with everyone. This is sadness. It is lonely and blue like a rainy day. It washes over you like the sea. When you're sad, you hide and want to be alone. You don't want to do anything except maybe cry. It's okay to cry, color monster. This is anger. It burns red like a fire and it's hard to stamp out. When you're angry, life can feel unfair. Sometimes you want to take out your anger on others. But I'll be nice to you, color monster, and your anger will disappear. This is fear. It hides and runs away like a mouse in the night. When you're afraid, you feel tiny. You think you don't have the courage to face the gray shadows. But I can help you find your way. This is calm. It is quiet like the trees and as light as the green leaves swaying in the wind. When you are calm, you breathe slowly and deeply. You feel at peace. Now you can rest, color monster. All your feelings are in the right place. See? Don't you feel much better? Uh-oh! I see you're feeling something new. You look different, color monster. Tell me, how do you feel now? Thank you for watching Storytime with Elena. Well, I hope you guys like that book. I really enjoyed the illustrations and I thought it was a nice way to show how part of taking care of our heart health is taking care of our emotions and teaching kids to learn about theirs and what it all means. So 
when they're experiencing them, it's very nice to be able to name what's going on and to kind of tell them it's okay and this is how we deal with it and move on. So next up on our list, we have a fun song for you. To continue with the topic of feelings and emotions, we are going to have a song based off love since Valentine's Day is right around the corner. And we figured your children would love this song. Shark do 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 Grandpa Shark, I my sweetie. <laughs> I love you in the morning and, and in the, the afternoon. afternoon. I love you in the evening. Happy Valentine, sharks. Valentine's Day to do 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 Valentine's Day to. Hope you guys felt the love on that one. Now it's time for our activities with Gretchen. Katie, that was adorable. Thank you so much for sharing. My activity involves some music and some dancing. All of those things are good exercise. Well, the dancing is good exercise. Does your heart well. And if you get up and move a little bit, it might also make you feel a little happier. So this this activity also inv involves eating well too. So pay attention to what the boys and girls are singing about. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Boom, 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 banana. Peel the banana, peel, peel the banana. Chop the banana, chop, chop the banana. Put, 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 put it all together. Shake, 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 shake it. Oh, 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 orange. Peel the orange, peel, peel the orange. Squeeze the orange, squeeze, squeeze the orange. Put, 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 put it all together. Shake, 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 shake. shake it. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of dance and little bit of exercise. And I hope that you are able 
to have some of that fun today. And if you do, take a little video of what you're dancing to and post it down below. Thanks. All right, so one great way to put all of this together is the 5210 um, rule, which is going to help when it comes to um, making sure that your child is eating healthy um, and getting enough uh, fruits and vegetables. So we're going to watch a short video that's going to explain 5210, and then we'll break it down into much smaller steps for you.
All right, so five, two, one, zero is very important. Um, and it's really important to start now while they're younger. Um, there was a study that they researchers did in Ohio um, out of 398 children in preschools, only one child out of 398 children actually um, met the 5210 standard um, for everyday living. Um, it's really important because there is um, obesity and there are very bad health habits that start when children are um, under the age of three. Um, so 5210 can be very important. So five fruits and veggies, especially every day, it's actually easier to incorporate these than you think. Um, if we go down here, right, you can think of my healthy lunch box. So you circle one food group for one fruit food item from each food group um, for every meal. And again, it doesn't have to be every single one if that's too hard. Um, you know, for breakfast, there might be um, a piece of bread and then they can have some strawberries with the bread or they have a yogurt. Um, but it's really important to make sure that um, the food is fuel and it's not just um, something easy that's going to get them to eat. Uh, dinner should not just be hot dogs or something that's very easy for them to eat like chicken McNuggets. It should be um, trying new foods and making sure that they are delicious. Um, two hours or less of recreational screen time. So this also means when your TV is on in the background, even if that is not the main focal point of what you're doing with your toddler, uh, a lot of um, families, and even I'm guilty of this after work, I'll just have the TV on, um, even if I'm not watching it, but that still counts as recreational screen time. And it does cut down on cognitive development and imagination time. Um, and there should definitely be one hour more physical activity. So it doesn't have to be, we're going to spend this one hour doing physical activity. It can be throughout the day. You can do um, dance breaks or you need to go on a walk. You're walking to the bus stop. You're walking around the grocery store. These things count as well. And also zero sweetened drinks. So there's really no reason why um, your toddler should be drinking anything sweetened. Um, and this also includes diet pop. I know that it says there's no sugar, but it also um, is linked with 13% increase in developing type two diabetes later on in life. Um, and I know a lot of parents do allow their kids to drink that um, because they think it's better, but it's not. Um, and another great way to try and uh, incorporate all these things together is to do it together. Um, lead by example. I know that's hard too because you feel like you're the adult so you should be able to drink um, some pop if you want to but your children really do by what you do and not necessarily by what you say so it's really important to incorporate 5210 in your life as well as in your children's and it can end up being a lot of fun and stuff to do together so i will pass it back to you kristen Kim, that was very interesting and informative I can't wait till we can get outside and play in the sunny grass, but walking in the winter and getting out in the winter is just as fun as you make it. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. Enjoy the Super Bowl, play some catch, make some healthy game day foods. Happy we'll Valentine's Day. That's right. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.